actually I do want no one wants to be fat, stop promoting it. I wanna be fat, but his belly is are beautiful. What the fuck, bro? Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Fat Acceptance TikTok Cringe, where we have TikTokers um who are going around saying that it is okay to be big or not even that too some of them are saying that we should change the standard that thin women shouldn't be on the cover of magazines uh or things like that like that shouldn't be the beautiful standard it should now be accepted that people with jelly rolls should be looked at as something as beautiful instead of the people who are actually in shape and better in their lives and on top of that too i understand that being thin sometimes is a bad thing if it's like too much to the point where they're starving themselves and they're trying to look like super super skinny um to be on magazines or be models and things like that i understand that side but at the same time it's also not healthy to be really big to the point where you have other health conditions just like the person who's extremely anorexic would also have health conditions it's supposed to be like a balance and in the middle so that you can be healthy and look good at the same time you know all right, we're gonna react to them. If promoting obesity is what it takes to make other fat people feel hot, obviously I'm gonna do that. So yes, this is like, I am promoting obesity. Uh, I don't know. This is like a voiceover a lot of people do. They're just like saying, if if promoting obesity, if what? If promoting that is what it takes to make fat people feel hot. Like now they're like gathering a bunch of people around saying, yeah, we look good in our beautiful bodies, but she is less healthy than if she lost 60 pounds you know ever noticed how when we see folk in larger bodies in mass media or social media they're accused of promoting obesity so here's what people yeah, think she, is promoting the obesity. last tiktoker just said they were pro that is promoting obesity look if you're gonna have big mannequins and big people in magazines that is promoting obesity because you're saying that those people look good that it literally says well it says body positivity so you're promoting your body but her body is big like what what are you talking about <clears throat> they're big all right you can you can no. here's what is actually promoting obesity hey babe what are you doing oh you know just making some flyers to promote obesity Hey babe, what are you doing? I'm just boosting a post on social media to promote obesity. Hi there, I'm going door to door today to promote obesity. Can I- Like, they're being sarcastic, it's indirect. Like, obviously they're not saying like, yeah, or I mean, some are. Some, some are saying like, I'm fat and I'm proud. And then others, it's just, boom, fat model. And then fat mannequins. Like, they're slowly pushing it onto us, even if we're just going throughout our day-to-day -day lives it's like it's really crazy because it's like it's they're trying so hard to change the whole thing um around us when everybody knows deep down inside that being fat is a, a bad thing and they are promoting it because they're allowing people to have an escape route where oh i'm fat and i don't need to lose weight now i can just put on certain outfits get tattoos and i'll look beautiful and and makeup and things like that so it's they're like pushing it on to us slowly. Let's talk about promoting obesity and how it's absolutely just junk propaganda. Fat creators aren't out here giving their 15 steps to get that fat bod by summer or our hot eight tips to getting fat quick. I have never seen a fat creator selling products to help people <clears throat> get fat. And there is certainly no $72 billion industry in the US alone to help people get fat. Yeah, 100%, like what she's saying, they're not not all of them are saying yeah this is like gain weight become fat like me but they're still giving up at the end of the day it's not a matter of a bunch of people pushing towards hey you should be fat it's the whole oh you're already fat that's fine that's totally okay you should stay that way that is the bad thing because most of america is already big they don't need to get bigger to be obese so a lot of them are obese already you know so it is promoting obesity in a way you're promoting obesity for staying big whole time we just be existing yeah but like you don't want to change bro that's the thing i don't think you understand because you said full-time obesity promoter as a joke when you actually are being one go ahead and fuel it how you want and that you can't promote obesity 
I can't make you fat just like you can't make me skinny. Grow, grow up. Grow up? Yeah. Okay, well, let's just say, you know, I'm like a fitness influencer. And I'm like, yeah, you should eat healthy and not eat so much junk food. And you should try to get your life better. I'm promoting a healthier lifestyle. All right? That doesn't mean I'm forcing anybody to do that. Just by me talking and me, I guess, getting views and being out there and advertising like, yeah, you should do what I do, right? That is, in a way, promoting a healthy lifestyle. So, wouldn't the opposite be true if people were doing all these mukbangs, people were saying it's okay to be fat, and people were saying that, you know, if you don't want to exercise, that's totally fine. You can just be a blown-up balloon. Um, that That's still promoting obesity, and they don't get it, and that's why they're like that. Oh, you're going <clears throat> for a walk? That's promoting obesity. Oh, you look cute? Promoting obesity. Eating, <gasps> promoting obesity. Being in love, that's promoting obesity. Oh, you're going for a walk? Yep, you're beautiful. Also, I love the shirt, but you get it. Pretty sure it's all just promoting life. Isn't that the truth? You can't win. Keep doing your thing. You're promoting living. You're doing great. So she's getting a lot of compliments from that. Or uh, reinforcement that uh, what she's doing is great. She doesn't look like she's a obesity promoter. Like, it's not like her entire... Thing. I mean, it might be if I click on some videos, but I think like the main ones who are like really destroying everyone. Oh, you're going is like the one who are like I am a body positivity fat activist, and that is like. So I've been thinking. Oh, this about is the one. Uh, she said being fat can be used like what to prevent kidnappings or something. <laughs> Didn't say it exactly like that, but she was saying that I can't get kidnapped because I'm fat. Like, bro. Actually, I do. No one wants to be fat. Stop promoting it. I wanna be fat, but his bellies are beautiful. What the fuck, bro? Actually, uh, yeah, that's kind of scary. Like that, that, that is really scary. Bellies are beautiful until she dies because of hers. Exactly. She loves bellies so much she got three. She wakes up on both sides of the bed. All right, these comments are flaming her. Oh yeah, and then the gaining weight journey was kind of wild. So we get it. You don't get it. Come on, Lisa. You don't get it. Just so we get it. Yeah, it, being smart her whole life and getting a bunch of weight all at once. Well, I think she's talking about being pregnant here. That is totally a different thing. <clears throat> I think a lot of women who get pregnant, right, they they struggle to lose it because they're just getting really big out of nowhere, and they're like, oh my gosh, like I was so thin. Why am I getting big? And obviously, you're not going to make fun of a pregnant woman, even if she's gaining a bunch of weight, because that's how she gives birth. But you should still work hard to lose the weight. There's a lot of good mothers out there who still eat healthy, lost the weight, been in the gym, and were able to do their everyday activities while not blowing up like 300 pounds. <laughs> so it's totally normal, you know, if you have kids. But then there's some who don't even have kids, and they, they're far past the pregnant stage. Fat models. There's nothing that disgusts me more than fat models. Thank you, man. That's almost a disrespect to the, all the beautiful models out there that are actually in shape. There's nothing beautiful about being fat. <laughs> it's like, why, why promote being fat? Well, on top of that, too, yeah, like what he was saying, there's models who really work hard um, and even sacrifice their health to look good with, like, the anorexia. And I'm not saying, like, that's right or wrong, you know? Like, that's just what they want to do to be in their best shape to what certain standards are but they've gone through so much hardship to actually look good and other people are just stuffing their faces getting huge dopamine rushes and then they want to be on the same level as somebody who's worked hard to look good that it's 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 really crazy it's really so it's yeah it's disrespectful to actual models out there who are in shape and they look great that's sad fat acceptance tiktok cringe stop being fat